Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Drills. I've had a few people saying like, why am I getting mad high polys when I'm covering something in diamonds? So I'm just gonna give you a little rundown now. Obviously, I've added a diamond and some prongs. I've used dual craft plugin for this, but obviously you can make your own if you want to. But as you can see, if I select this, then obviously the diamond's 302 poly and the prongs are currently at 1,148. Now there's a couple of things we wanna do to reduce the poly count on this before we duplicate it. So the first thing we always do is look at the side from the X axis, for instance, and we basically want to take away this bottom part because you're never gonna see it. And we're gonna wanna drag these up as well. So if we select our diamond and go into edit mode and turn on X-ray, and we're basically gonna select these bottom vertex and we're just gonna delete them. What I then do is try to select these, might have to zoom in a little bit more, just try and get all of them apart from the top layer there. And then we're just gonna move these down just so that actually our diamond face is not bang on the thing because obviously we want some kind of, we want it to look like it's sticking out of the object a little bit. If you don't want it, then obviously leave it up, but I normally do it like this. Um, and what you can do as well is press F if you want to have a bottom on it. Um, otherwise just off, because that's obviously an extra face. Um, so next we're gonna need to go back to edit mode, uh, sorry, object mode. Gonna select our prongs and we're gonna come back into edit mode again. And I'm basically just going to make sure X-ray's on and I'm just gonna bring these up so they're basically matching the bottom. Now, we haven't actually removed any polys yet, but we just wanna, well, we've removed a little bit from there, but nothing major. Um, so we just wanna come back into object mode and we're gonna work on our decimation. Um, so first we're gonna do the actual prongs themselves. So what we're gonna be doing is looking at it from this type of angle. Now, you've gotta bear in mind, when you're gonna see this diamond, it's gonna be like this big. Do you know what I mean? So you're not going to see a lot of this detail here. Um, so we're going to decimate these a reasonable amount. And we're going to obviously add the decimate modifier. Now hit triangulate first. We've got 578 polys. We can obviously drag this down. You will see because we've triangulated that this, this is actually going to be higher. So we actually want to bring this right down. And obviously you're going to lose shape. Um, you don't want them to look like that. But to be honest, if they look like this, it's not actually that deep. When you look at it from a distance, you're not gonna tell the difference. Like you really cannot tell me that you're gonna see a diamond that big and be able to tell that those polys look like that, okay? So it's absolutely fine to have them really low. You could go lower, but let's just leave it like that for this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. And then the same thing for the diamond. We're not gonna need to decimate this as much. The polys aren't as high. So we're gonna generate decimate and we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna triangulate and we're basically just gonna bring this down a little bit. We're gonna lose some faces. Again, you've got to think like you're gonna be looking at this from a far away. You're not gonna be looking at this close inside GTA. So you've got to kind of be relative for think about how big your diamond's gonna be in game. Is it gonna be that big? Are you gonna have them massive and that big? Either way, it doesn't really matter because this doesn't look too bad for what it is um, at this type of level. If you was out here and they're really tiny, you're not gonna see it at all. So yeah, for me, that's absolutely fine. So just gonna go ahead and apply that. And now we've brought our entire diamond and prongs down to 170 polys, which is what, 10 times smaller. Um, now, before we join them together, we are going to UV edit them because otherwise you'll have a nightmare when it comes to texturing. So even if you're gonna create a different texture later on, you're still better to UV edit these now. So what I would actually do is if we can just select the diamond itself and then go into obviously into edit mode, select all, and we're gonna do Q projection for this one. And you can actually just move that off to the side um, just in case you project anything else here and you don't want it there once they're joined together. And then we're just gonna come back, select these, go back into edit mode and just basically do the same thing. We're gonna Q project those, we're gonna take them and we're gonna drag them down here. And then, yep, if we select all, now you can see when we're ready to build our texture, we've got them island away from each other. So obviously you're not gonna want your prongs to be the same material as your diamond. So obviously we can move them around as we need to. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Now, obviously when it comes to duplicating, um, 
There are many ways that you can do this. Obviously we show some ways in premium that are a bit more efficient, but for the most part, most people are just creating arrays. Um, so once they've been UV mapped, I'm just gonna go ahead and join them together. And then obviously we're going to generate an array um, and get our factors lined up properly. It'd probably be about 0.92 maybe, something like that. Um, Obviously you can run them out and then you could just add another modifier, um, generate array and zero this one out. And then, oops, let me just scroll that like that. That was a slightly, and yeah, of course, um, I'm not sure exactly how many you would be using, but as you can see, even with that many diamonds, we're only at 140,000, which obviously is quite a lot, but I doubt you're gonna be probably using that much. If you think, um, hold on, add a circle for now. Yeah, if you, <laughs> these are obviously way big at the moment, but let me just say this circle was your pendant. Um, and we, let's move it into here a bit. Let's move it up so we can actually see it. Um, and in comparison, Now I do have a video that shows you how to do this type of stuff with a pendant, but I just thought I'd give you a little bit more insight into obviously decimating the diamonds. Um, now, obviously if this was a round pendant, like you can see here easily, I would say 60% of these diamonds aren't gonna be included anyway. So you're probably looking around 50 or 60K polys, as opposed to some people are getting like 700,000. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to give you a little rundown on that one. Um, so yeah, I hope this has helped you to create lower poly diamond cover models. So yeah, I hope this has helped you. Don't forget guys, as always, please like and subscribe. Also, you can become a channel member for as low as two pounds. If you do join as a member, you can go over to the Discord and you'll unlock a whole load of perks. There's level one, two and three, which will unlock different things. Full details will be in the Discord. And yeah, I'm just going to give a shout out to members on the end of this. I'm going to roll some credits and thank you to everyone that has become a member recently. Thank you for helping support the channel and helping it to grow. As always, this is Drills over and out.